Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of stuff off camera. I've finished off the storage room and I've decided I went for um, grass floor design. Um, I think this place looks really good. It worked out how I wanted it to. Um, as you see at the moment, I've got two enchantment areas and it won't be like that. I just did that so I could evenly space it apart. But today, I'm going to try and move into this place and organise all the chests. And also I want to talk about another plan that I've got. Um, like I've said in the past, I wanted a storage room where all the chests would be constantly full of items. You know, they'd be constantly pouring in um, from all the automatic farms that can be based around the area. And I thought in here it might not work because not every item in the game is going to be in one chest. So, for example, that won't be pork, that won't be glowstone, that won't be signs, that won't be a chest chest. Um... So I'm thinking this is going to be the room where this kind of everything is like blocks and ca kind of categories of items, and then I'll have another room, maybe going down this way, um, which will just be dedicated to automated farms and the chests that will be receiving the items from the farms. If that makes sense, um, I'll probably do that off camera because I don't want to do an, you know more room building on camera because that's a bit boring. Um, but I found a website that shows me all the categories of items and it pretty much easily sorts out all the items for me um, So I'm gonna get to work on Labeling all the chests now, and I'll be back with you in a second All right, so I've done all the labeling and um, I'll just quickly show it to you So we've got natural things wood mob drops food stone nether cobblestone wool stone um, Includes kind of like uh, this stuff here the andesite and the granite and things uh, this will be my kind of diamonds chest. I don't really know what to label it. Maybe precious things, jewels or something. I'm not sure. Um, ores and minerals. So this will be like iron and coal and things. Mortals, combat gear, mining gear, junk, and then brewing. I'm not sure what to put in these two chests yet. I haven't decided. That'll probably be miscellaneous things that I can't think of or that I've missed out. I'll leave a link to the website that I used to categorize all these um, in the description. I think it's from the Minecraft forums. I know it's from the Minecraft Gamepad Wikipedia thingy. But we're all, uh, we're all sorted now, so I'm going to start moving all my stuff. I've got a lot now. I've got a lo load of chests over here. I'm going to start moving everything from here into the storage room. Well, that took longer than expected, and I came across a few problems as well. Um, number one being, living underground has its pros and cons, but the main con is we have a bit too much cobble. Um, I really don't know what to do with this. Um, I'm thinking maybe I just might have a room around the back or something, just with like uh, just chests upon chests of blocks that I don't need or have too many of. Um, I did have a few problems as well with like sorting it out. For example, I didn't have any work of dirt, so what I've done is this isn't wool anymore, there's other blocks, this is dirt, gravel and sand. Wool is now over here, and I did think it was a bit unnecessary to have combat armour and then mining equipment in two separate chests. So this is because now like my tools and weapons, um, extra tools, ores and minerals, and my diamonds and emeralds are here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to replace this with an end chest soon when I get a um, an eye of ender. Or how many is it? Six, eight, eight eye vendors, and then no. Yeah, and then obsidian in the middle. Oh, mm, actually, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. If, if, I, if I have an if I have an ender chest there, that looks so much cooler. Um, I think that pretty much is this episode over. Really, um, I can't think of anything else that I need to do. Um, I mean, what I'm gonna do is make the farm off camera next. Um. Uh, I'm going to make the farm room off camera because I don't think you want to see me digging and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any news I need to tell you about the server. Um, people are still wanting to come on the server. It's just we, um, we've we had loads of people applying and it's really hard to choose between people because if we, if we didn't have many people applying, you know, pretty much everyone that applied would get on. But because we've had so many, it would be unfair on the people that have 
you know, I've played and waited for ages and haven't got a response and so on. And if we don't respond, please don't um, be mad. It's just we have a lot of people and we, we are quite busy ourselves. So, yeah, I suppose that's the only news that I need to give you, really. Um, oh, another thing. Um, episode 3 of The Bulk. Um, you may have noticed it goes episode 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. It misses out um, episode 3. And the reason for that is, is when I recorded it in bulk, I put it all into Sony Vegas, and what I do is I render a loop region, so that means I select a certain area I want to render, and I render that, and I did go to render episode 3, didn't check it before I uploaded it, which is a really bad rookie mistake, um, and it turned out the beginning didn't have any audio, and then the rest of the video had the audio but all sped up, and it was very strange, so I couldn't find the original um, clip. Um, from the edit, so I can't do that video unlucky. Um, I can't actually fix that, so it's quite bad, but it should be alright. Um, it, it, nothing really happened, which is literally just us setting up the farm at the beginning over there at spawn. Um, yeah, really short episode today. I hope you guys um, are okay with that. I mean, sometimes long Minecraft videos can get a bit repetitive, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, I will see you next time. <laughs>